Welcome to Faith, Revival, Holiness, Parish, Synagogue, and Church. I'm your host, Servant of Father God and Servant Yeshua El Shaddai, Minister and Prophet M.G. Mays. But let's begin in prayer. Father, we thank you, Father, for all things. We thank you and praise you. Amen. Today's teaching is uh, Tehillim Psalms. Shemaya Zah. Hear this. Psalms 49, 1 through 20. 1 through 20 of 49 chapter of Psalms. It says, Hear this, all you people. Listen, everyone living on the earth, regarding of whether low or high, regarding regardless of whether poor or rich, my mouth is about to speak wisdom. My heart, uh, deepest thoughts will give you understanding. I will listen with care to Yah, God's parables. And I will set my uh, esteem to the music of Lear. Why should I fear when the, day, the days bring trouble? When the evil of my pursuit around me the evil of those who rely on their wealth and, and boast how rich they are. You better listen to what David's saying here, our chorus, one of David's right hands here. No one can ever redeem his brother or sister or even give God's ransom to him because the price for him is too high. Leave the idea completely alone to have him or her live on eternity and never see the pit. For he can see the wise man will die. Likewise, the fool and the brutal will perish, leaving their wealth to others. And they think their homes will last forever, their dwellings through all generations, and they give their own names to their estates. But people, even rich ones, will live only briefly. And then like animals, they will die. This is the matter of life of the fools. And those who come after approve of their words, like sheep, they, they destined to Shiloh. Deaf will be their shepherds. An upright will rule them in the morning. The upright will rule them in the morning. And their forms will waste away in Shiloh until they need no dwelling. But Yah God will redeem me from Shiloh's control. Because Yeshua should I will receive me. Don't be afraid when someone gets rich, when the wealth of his family grows. For when he or she dies, he or she won't take it with them. The wealth will go down after him. Truly, while he lives, he or she threw himself happy. People praise you when you do well for yourself. But he will join his ancestors' generations and never again see light. People, even rich ones, will fall to the grass. Like animals, they will die. So you, you need to hear this. It's not about making money. It's not about, it's about what, who you are on the inside. All this cosmetic garbage on the outside means nothing. At the end of the day, what matters everything is the character, and who you are and what you put in who you are in the inside. That's all that matters because there's eternity involved. You might think that this finite life we have is need to have everything in it, but at the end of the day, if you're not right with 
the, the Messiah, you're not right with God Almighty. You're not right with who you are and what God is trying to build out of you. Then all your riches and all the talents you have is meaningless unless it is sodded out by the inside out. The flesh, all that will burn burnt up. But what you, the character, what you put on the inside will last forever. You remember that. So when you get when you when you when you get that temptation to make lots of riches, you get the temptation to, to all this fleshly ideas. You remember all that's going to go away someday, and all you're going to be with what are you've done in the inside of you. And if you have done nothing to show for it, all that stuff will be burned up, just like it says, going through the fire, the holy fire. And what you've done in the inside will remain. And how you you did things for others and how you you went forth with beauty. God's not against you making money. He's against what money does to most people at the end of the day. And this is what is wrong with you ministers today. Because you always focus on all the getting rich and all the things in the flesh. When Yeshua himself told you. It's about the inside of who you are. The prophets, everybody said this in the Bible. It's about who you are on the inside. So listen to the Psalms of wisdom to stay and repent and turn from your wicked ways and turn to the righteous things and be blessed. Shalom. For those that would like to get saved, pray this prayer. He wants to be your savior, the mighty one. And the, and the greatest counselor you ever have is Yeshua, Amen. And he and he wants to engulf you and and baptize you and be led by the Messiah's Spirit every day. So pray this prayer and thank the Father for for allowing His Spirit to come in the flesh over two thousand years as Yeshua, Yeah, salvation. And the reason why they say. He said he took his father's name and therefore he has the name above all. Because he took the father's name, Yah. And Yah, throughout the Old Testament, says Yah's name is above all names. Literally. And that's why, because he had he had Yah's name in it. Yah, Shua. Are, are the fullness of what Shu, short, elongated to Shua. Amen. Which he always says, Yah's salvation, constantly. And that was prophesied of what his spirit would take on as, as being the priest of priests. As the king of kings, his, he, he is El Shaddai, a, a, a Gober, Gober, which means the the mighty strength. Amen. He, so he's Shaddai, almighty, and he is uh, Gober, which means the mighty strength. Amen. And he's both those things, you know, throughout the Old Testament, it, it testifies. And, and in the New Testament, it goes by Yeshua. And it's the same spirit that was over there is over there. It's because it's the same one. It's, it's God's spirit that was given to us as a blessing throughout humanity. And it just, he did more and more things for us until he, he took physical form. But, and remember, flesh and blood cannot enter the kingdom of God. It doesn't matter what flesh, it can, what it is. Amen. And it, we cannot please God with the flesh. We have to please God with the spirit and, and our soul, but being led by the Messiah's spirit that's leading us into all glory. Amen. So pray this prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we, we thank you so much for Yeshua, for allowing El Shaddai to come as Yeshua in the flesh for us and, and dying on the cross for us and the perfect life he did for us. Thank you, Yeshua. We want to take this moment and thank you. And we, we invite you to be the Savior, the Messiah in our life, and that the great spirit in our life that guides us through life situations. And, and it brings us around 360 to what pleasing the Father. We thank you, Father, again. Thank you, Yeshua. 
today be the savior of my life, and I and I be I be baptized with you, your your spirit, O Yeshua, today, or else should I? We thank you, Yeshua. Thank you, Father God. Amen. Congratulations. Welcome to family, God. You know, get get yourself water baptized. Uh, get get someone uh, that can, you know, talk to you about that a little bit. Kind of, you know, show you scriptural and, you know, it take a little longer than doing a five minute thing, to be honest. So that's why I want you to, you know, have that quality time of 25 minutes or so with uh, someone that a minister, another minister can um, talk to you about this or a deacon or, or somebody they, they can can show you that water baptism is very important too you know and it's a second witness it's, it's, it's saying I'm all in you know I, I'm all in and it's a time for a rejoicing of your brothers and sisters and some of them are going to be crying some of them are going to be walking some will be standing some will be crying in the sea you don't worry about them they're just they're expressing themselves how overjoyed their their little brother or sister you are getting water baptized and and, and sometimes the spirit of, of Yeshua hits us different ways and so you got to understand that it's all right you know there's sometimes even people will walk around the sanctuary not doing anything wrong, but it's just they just they can't express what they're feeling. So they do that. And a lot of us they're not doing it unbecomingly, of course, but you know, so we express differently with our soul what we're being touched by God for 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 a brand new person being baptized or, or maybe a sermon. I mean, hallelujah. Some of these sermons, you know, I'm teaching, you know, you can't help yourself. But, you know, some of them, people might cry. Some people saying hallelujah. Some people just got to stand on the side. And they just can't express it. But that's all right. And we got to we got to see that the real thing from a fake thing that does happen, too, in the churches and synagogue and parish, too. But the real thing you know, we don't want to, we don't want to harm the real thing in people that God's doing, Amen. So we, so those that that are gifted and and been matured, you know, they got to see those things. You got to see the genuine from the not so genuine, you know, um, Amen. So God bless you. You're welcome to family, God. Father, bless them all. Bless them. Give them all that they need. I don't want to see any sorrow I'm out in this earth. And I, I need a miracle. We need a miracle for our brothers and sisters. We need a miracle. This sorrow has got to end on this world. I know it's your heart. You want to see it end, but you got to, there's lessons to be learned to get in there, get into that journey, get into the promised land. You got to go through Jericho. You got to go through uh, uh, Bethany. You got to go through uh, the Jordan River. You got to go to the other side and to the wilderness and then you go to the promise and to Bula land on earth, you know, and in heavenly realm of, of thinking on that as well. So we thank you and I bless them. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Holiness brings peace, the past is only sin. None of them, none broken. Complete peace. Shalom to you. And if, if we can afford to get a, a cipher Bible, cipher is the Hebrew word. Or, um, um, manuscript um, scroll um, and it's most complete in a lot of ways um, if you can't do that go to the next one which would be the complete Jewish Bible and uh, you can always go with um, the um, Geneva Bible that's been restored um, on some of the um, original things that were documents on that see the Geneva Bible or the Tyndale Bible has been around much longer than than the, the the King James classic which has some things in there that I don't care for that it's been subdued down which the Geneva Bible doesn't have that happen our founding fathers as especially in America they wouldn't touch a classic King James Bible they would only touch a Bible that is a Geneva Bible. 
because there's differences in how it's done and and how it goes forward and and that in the classic King James Bible they kind of downed uh, a lot of the women in ministry throughout it and kind of used some words because the guy King James didn't think it was proper for for showing that but the the Geneva Bible has the full force of women in ministry and men and even children and there it's not been downgraded it's its full language on those things as well as taking the crooks and taking care of them the proper way it's 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 got full strength on that as well so that's what i recommend you know i i really recommend to get the cipher bible but if we can't well for most people they probably get wind up getting a, a geneva bible which is fine but if you want to go back to some of the more jewish understanding in the old and the new testament i would recommend in the future to get one or the other possibly if you can save your money if it's possible get a cipher bible um, over even the messianic jewish bible complete complete jewish bible which is really good but that's the best of the best in my opinion you know some others might think other things on that a little bit but that's the best of the best if you want the best of the best that's what i would i would have two actually a, 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 a geneva bible and a cipher bible and you can kind of do a study between them and get the old uh not the new uh uh standard uh strauss or whatever you call it but the classic always go the classic because the newer versions of the of the breakdowns of words are not so good you want to get the classic and you can find a classic they they oftentimes will i'll have the classic version and then they'll have the the newer version of tra the translations of conan greek aramaic and hebrew words you know and if you you know people that have been around for the, a while you know it wouldn't hurt you to get a Septuagint bible old and new um if you're mature and you want to get a little kick and and of uh, um, uh, really getting studying you, you would I, would I would suggest doing that too amen for a third additional two things amen so god bless you shalom to you Welcome to family God and those that are already been there. Just keep on going in this journey, life journey. Amen. Shalom. God bless. Amen.